Hi there. I am just in for my morning run with my pal Cleo. And this time of year, it is wonderful to see so many people out and about. But one of the things I have really noticed is how hard it is to get somebody to say good morning and exchange a smile. So I actually challenge myself. I say hello, good morning, and see whether I can get any kind of a reaction. I think this morning my batting average was probably about 500. I think we're so connected to what's in our ears or what's in our hands that we really are almost caught off guard. We're almost startled when somebody makes an attempt to break through and establish a moment of genuine human warmth and connection. I think there's a great opportunity here for anybody who communicates these days in writing through email or direct messages. With every email you send, you have that opportunity to create a little moment of human connection. I remember not long ago talking to a client who was referring to one of her colleagues and she said, you know what, every time so-and-so sends me an email, she makes me smile. You know, how valuable is that when you think about building relationships with a potential customer, a potential investor, somebody in government whose trust you want to cultivate? How do you do that? How do you make somebody smile with an email? Well, some people will tell you to include an emoji and depending on the context, that could work. I think it's even easier than that. I think it's personalizing your greeting, taking a moment to acknowledge what's going on in somebody's life. Hope you had a great vacation or hope you got a chance to get out on the tennis courts this weekend. How is your daughter doing? You can have these little tiny moments where you just acknowledge the other person as a person. The other thing you can do is relax your communication style. So instead of writing really short, efficient email sentences that almost come across as Morse code, play with your punctuation a little bit. I have kind of a slapdash approach sometimes when I'm writing an email. I'll use dashes, occasionally sentence fragments, because my aim is to sound conversational, not necessarily to create the kind of writing style that I would use if I were writing a formal report. So think today about how you can maybe brighten somebody's day with that next email you send.